Hey guys and welcome to your 12th tutorial in discrete math 2 and today I'm going to talk about inclusion exclusion theory or principles so what I'm going to do is I'll go over the principle and then there will be two follow up, follow up videos with examples so um, inclusion exclusion principle is just a way to avoid overcounting so let's say we have those two circles A and B and we color A blue and B red. Alright, now notice that we're counting the intersection twice, once for A and once for B. So to get so to get rid of that, it's just gonna be A plus B minus A intersection B. So you're subtracting the intersection once, so you only get count this part here once. So this is their intersection. You're only trying to count it once. And that's like the total number of um, say objects in A and B combined. So this, that's just an example with two circles. So let's see three circles. And now, if you, now you have A and B and C. So let's color A red. And B blue. and C will color it, color it green. Alright, now notice that we're counting the intersections um, twice for each intersection, it's being counted twice, except the intersection in the middle is being counted three times. And that's not good because you're over counting by a lot. You're over counting each intersection twice and since there are three intersections that's you're overcounting six times, and then you have the intersection in the middle. You're overcounting it um, two times. All right, so get to get rid of that. So say you want to calculate the number of objects in A, B, and C. So you'll have A plus B plus C, and that's what we have in the picture here. All right, so now you want to get rid of one of the intersections for each. So you only want red in this part here or red or blue for this part here and red or green in this part here and blue or red in this part here so you just want one inter intersection so you subtract that three times so A intersection B minus A intersection C so minus B intersection C okay so now you can subtract it each intersection once by doing so, you've actually introduced a new problem, which is you made this part in the middle blank. So you're not even counting the part in the middle here. So this part is not being counted anymore. And we don't want that because the intersection between all of them has to be there. But now all you're counting is the colored regions, ex excluding A intersection, B intersection, C. So you're going to add that one once, so plus A intersection B intersection C. And notice that there is a pattern, like from here to here. So the first thing, the first step was to add all of them, all the objects, just one object at a time. So here you have A is one object, B is one object. Here you have A is one object, B is one object, C is one object. Then you subtract two objects at a time and since here all you have is two objects then you have A intersection B but here you have um, three objects and you want to find you want to choose two of them so here you have that's one case that's another case and that's the last case so the only, that's all the combinations you have for choosing A, B and C and mixing them up in the, into intersections of two at a time and then you plus all three objects. So notice the first time here it's one object and then here it's two objects and then the last one was three objects. So three objects. And then you take the intersection of them all and that will give you the total number of objects in the circles A, B and C. Alright so the pattern is 
you keep increasing objects and switching signs. So from between one object and two objects, you went from having plus signs to minus signs. So you have minus. And then when you switch again for uh, more objects, so three objects, you have a plus. If you have four objects, then you're going to have minus. All right, so this is the last circle. So you have A, B, C, D. So without even thinking about the, the diagram, the first step is to add one object at a time. So you have A plus B plus C plus D. Now we have all of them. Then you subtract two objects at a time. So subtract. Remember that here. Now we're, we've done, we're done with all the first objects. Now we want to choose two out of four. So let's ha let's say we have A and B. So that's A intersection B. Minus we have A intersection C. So A intersection C. All right. Then we have A intersection D. Minus A intersection D. All right. Then minus B intersection um, C and B intersection D. Then all that's left is just C intersection D. And that's all the cases where you have four objects and you pick three of them. And notice that this is equal to four choose two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And four choose two is equal to six. All right. Now we have plus three objects at a time. So you have A intersection B intersection C plus A intersection B intersection D plus A intersection C intersection D. Now we're done with all the cases for A. Alright, then plus, so now we're done with 1, 2, 3, so that's from A. So we have, and then B, we have B intersection C intersection D. And that covers all the cases. And that's it. that's equal to 4 choose 3. Alright, and then we have the very last case, which is choosing all the objects. And that is going to be minus. Now, we have all of them. So that's A intersection, B intersection, C intersection, D. There's only one intersection that involves all of them. Alright, so what we have here is every time we change signs we change every time we add an object we change signs so minus that, that separates them and then here you have plus and that separates them and then here you have minus so for the first group you had one object so here you have one object alright and when it's time to change uh, to add another object you change the signs so all of this here so from here all the way till here you have two objects and they're all minuses and then over here from here you have plus so that's three objects and the la finally you have four objects so let's say you want to count five circles six circles you don't even need the circles anymore all you have to do is just follow this pattern and you're gonna get the number of objects alright so in this example we had four here you have all the case so that's like the total all of the um, circles and then over here you have four objects in total but you can only choose two so you have four choose two and that's how you can check for how many variables you have and then over here you have four choose three so that's plus four choose three and then in the last one you have you have to pick all of them so that's four choose four and the first one you had four choose one so it goes 4 choose 1 minus 4 choose 2 plus 4 choose 3 minus 4 choose 4. So every time you increase by an object, you change the sign. And that's all there is to it. In the next example, we're going to see um, the, the sign changing, how to count it, how to set up the problem, how to choose your cases. Alright, so I hope this video made some sense. And please watch the next video for more examples. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.